Thank you.
want coffee and then a click. to me 
might not get a chocolate there, but he will do something special for you that you're going to go, oh, that is God. Oh, and isn't that tender? Isn't that precious? Oh, and it'll, it'll mess you up. It'll mess you up in a precious sort of way because you're just going to go, really, did that just happen? And you're going to write it down and you're going to remember it forever because he comes in and shows himself to you like that. I know you all have stories just like that when the Lord has shown up.
leading you and ultimately leading you to destruction. A fountain of water that will flow in you and through you, reaching the heavens, will sustain you forever. Choose forgiveness and you will open the door to a life of supernatural peace that empowers you to be a to be to a place that anger does never, has never, and will never uh, suffice. There we go. So, uh, and I just put choose life, choose love.
was reading in one of the craziest books that's in the Bible, Hosea. Because it talks about a story of how God used Hosea as an example to the people. And in the, in the second chapter, I started reading and I went, this is a valentine from God. Because he says, be mine. You ever got a Valentine in your city that said, be mine, you know those little candy hearts? A lot of, of mine used to say that, be mine. So listen to this Valentine from God. I will make you my wife forever, and you will be mine. There it is. I'll be honest and faithful. I'll show you love and compassion. I will be true to you. And then you will know me as Lord. Amen. Be mine. Be mine. And I was, I was talking to Gary uh, earlier before we started. I was thinking, there are so many uh, scriptures, Valentine scriptures. So I have one favorite from the Old Testament, and then I'm going to do the top ten out of the new, okay? But we'll go from ten to one. How's that sound? <coughs> so this is out of Jeremiah 31.3. This is probably my favorite. I mean, right up there with that one I just read out of Hosea 2. This is... Uh, Jeremiah 31.3, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. See, in Hosea it says, I will woo you back. I had to woo Christy to get her attention. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I outwooed you. Yeah. I outwooed you. And I want to tell you here tonight that there is nobody that outwoos God. Nobody outwoos God. He Amen. draws us with his loving kindness. He chases us down with his goodness and mercy. All right, are you ready for the top ten? We're going from 10 to 1. Okay. Number 10, Ephesians 5, 1. Follow God's example as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us. Number 9, Ephesians 3, 18 through 20. I pray that you be rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's people to grasp. Everybody say this with me. How wide? How wide? How long? How long? How high? How wide? How deep? How deep is the love of Christ? It's the love of Christ. Yeah. And listen to this line. And to know that this love surpasses all knowledge. That you are filled to the measure of the fullness of God. That's a good one. Ephesians 3, 18 through 20. Number 8. Romans 8, 37. I quote this one quite a bit. <clears throat> In all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced. And I am convinced. Through him who loved us. I am convinced. Neither life nor death. Life nor death. Neither angels nor principalities. Angels or Neither present or the future, neither present or future, nor any powers, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, neither height nor depth, nor, depth, nor anything in all of creation, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us, will ever separate us from the love of God, from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, number nine. 
Number seven is a good one. Romans 5, 8. This one just kind of hits you right between because of when Christ loved us. But God demonstrates his love for us in this way. While we were still sick, Christ died for Jesus. Is that a good one or what? While we were, we were still reprobates, while we were still trying to do it our way, he loved us enough to die for us. Thank you, Jesus. John 15, 13 is number six. Greater love has no man than this. Let's finish it together. He laid down his life for another. And then 1 Corinthians 13. I just picked out 4 through 8, but the whole chapter is called the love chapter. So I, I literally, I've done like over 60 weddings of the last count uh, of, of being the, the um, pastor at it. And I, I have, every person that I've ever married has done a marriage vow of love. And, and so we're going to do a marriage vow of love yes. tonight. Yeah, come on. Come on. All right? Come on. Yes. Yeah. To, to each other and to God. My love is patient. My love is patient. My love is kind. My love is kind. My love does not in me. My love does not envy. My love does not boast. My love does not boast. My love is not proud. My love is not proud. My love does not dishonor others. My love does not dishonor others. My love is not self-seeking. My love is not self-seeking. My love is not easily angered. My love is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. My love keeps no record of wrongs. I like this one. My love does not delight in evil. My love does not delight in evil. Are you ready for this? My love rejoices in truth. My love rejoices in truth. We need to add that to speak life. Yes. yes. Oh, I love yes. that. My love always protects. My love always protects. My love always trusts. My love always trusts. My love always hopes. My love always hopes. My love always perseveres. My love always perseveres. My love never fails. My love never fails. Number four is First John 4. Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. We know a song that goes like that. Yeah. Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and everyone who knows God.
So, after we're done, we have Valentines over there, and a lot, some of them say, be mine on them. The other ones are decorated. Valentine cookies, and they are yeah. beautiful. Thank you, Rena, and all the yes, kids. Yes, and the help. help. Just oh, and help.
Because we can read you, God loves me. We can tell you God loves you. But when you tell God, I love you, God. I love you, God. He's like, I can work with that. <laughs> that means you're letting me in. Let me in. Because then I can come and heal you. And I can give you your heart's desires. Psalm 37, of course, is to light yourself with the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. That's a great exchange. That right there is a blessed, blessed exchange. You will delight yourself. When you delight yourself, teach yourself how to delight yourself in the Lord. And it starts by just saying, I love you, Daddy. I love you, God. I love you, Baba. Come on. I love you. And he'll take you to the next levels after that. Just confess it with your mouth. And he's like, oh, I got stuff for you, girl. I got stuff for you, young man, son, daughter. I got stuff.
coming. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah.